How's it going everybody? Thank you for watching this video and just a quick note if you guys are subscribed or if you guys haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe and when you do click this little bell here on my channel and get all notifications sent to you from my channel that way you guys can be updated with all of my channel updates and uploads and whatever else I do on here. Thanks for watching. How's it going everybody? My name is Deshaun and welcome to the source code. Today we are going to be setting up your very first project in Eclipse. Also guys, be sure not to skip around at all in this video because you could miss something, even just a little bit of code um, could drastically change the functionality and the just your overall plugin. Also, everything in this video will be available to you on my GitHub. There's not really much that's going to be on the GitHub for this video, uh, but in the future, everything will be on my GitHub and on the screen now. You guys should see my GitHub link and let's get started. All right, so first things you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go uh, not on my Twitter. You can follow me on Twitter if you, though, if you would like to. Uh, but first things first, you're going to want to download a Java SDK. And now what this Java SDK is, is this is basically the Java that your Minecraft is going to need to run, your Eclipse, and also um, you're just going to need it um, in general. I think most computers might already have this installed, but if not, head over here to Windows 6 Time 64 and click Download on here. Now my guess is going to be that you have a 64-bit computer because it's pretty rare for most computers to not be 64-bit. But for some reason, if you have a 32-bit computer, be sure to download the Times 86 here. And if you're running on Linux or Mac, you can download the appropriate one. So after you download that and install it, download Eclipse. And you can just type Eclipse in on Google, click right here on Download, and you're going to download 64-bit and open it right up. And it might take a little bit to, to get the installer going. Um, I know mine yesterday when I tried recording this video took a little while. Um, so just be patient, especially if you're not on a terribly fast computer. Um, it could it could take a little while for the launcher to come up. Uh, mine came up quite quickly this time. And then you're just going to want to click Eclipse IDE for Java developers and then click install. Obviously, I already have it installed, so you're, I'm not going to want to do that. Then the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to gitbucket.org slash spigot. And you're gonna to want to download your choice of um, spigot. Um, I'm using 1.1.11 or 1.11, um, but I might go ahead and download 1.11.2. I hate saying the points because it's just always so awkward and hard. Can go ahead and launch your Eclipse. I already have mine open here. Now this side panel here might be tabbed down like this, and you might have a, like a welcome screen here. Just go ahead and click X on that, and I believe there might be a button where you can do, um, you know, do not show again. And then we're gonna get started into making our setting up our first project. So go ahead and create a uh, right click, do new Java project. And now uh, the project name can really be anything that you guys want it to be. I would suggest keeping it something simple for now. Uh, maybe just like tutorial um, just to copy everything that I do um, that way you guys can you know maybe have a separate project for you know when you're practicing things and then you can have separate projects for when you're actually coding things and that's that's usually what I like to do I like to make a separate like test project for when I'm testing a certain method or anything like that that way I don't have to put it into my main plugin and possibly mess everything up inside of there and figure out where I went wrong um, now you're going to want to use the default location and now I forgot to say this but when your Eclipse first launches it's going to ask you to choose a workspace and your workspace is just basically where you want all of your Eclipse projects to go to. Personally I have mine go to my Dropbox. Uh, I find that to be the easiest that way I can load it up on my laptop and any other devices that uh, my Dropbox is connected to. The next thing it's going to ask you is your Java runtime environment. Now you should just use the default JRE which is going to be the one you installed. Now. That's pretty much all you need to do here. Now you can click finished here, or you can go ahead and click next, which is what we're gonna do here. Um, but then you'll just have to, if you click finish, um, I'll show you how to do it if, if you click finish. But next you're gonna go here to library. So you can forget about these two things for now. We're not gonna need those. Um, don't worry about this, just keep that as is. But then we're gonna go to add external jars. And now this is where you're gonna wanna add your spigot that you downloaded or bucket or paper or whatever you used. Um, that's where you're going to want to add that and then you can go ahead and click finish now for some reason you clicked finish before that screen because you thought you were done um, go ahead and just right click this right here or your project go to properties and then go to Java build path and you can do the same thing right here so the next thing you're going to want to do is we have to make a package and now this package is going to be your main package um, which is pretty much where everything is going to be and now you want this to be unique as possible because you don't want it for some reason to match up with another one of your plugins or another plugin that you have on your server so I usually just like to do me dot my name and then usually whatever that the plugin is going to be called um, so for instance this is just going to be called tutorial 
and then inside of here you're going to want to right click your package again and you're going to create your class and now again I'm just going to name this my, something easy to remember and now this is important for the, the package and your class here and sorry my microphone's popping I don't have my pop filter with me um, but now this is really really important you want to make sure that you know what your main package is and what your main class is called so I usually like to keep it something really simple like tutorial and then we can go ahead and click finish and now you see here this will change the colors there and now we have our first class and what we also need to do is we need to create our plugin.yml so go ahead and cl right click your src here and go to file and then we're going to create plugin.yml and then it's going to open up um, it's going to ask you if you want to associate something inside of Eclipse. Just go ahead and click yes or no. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I have mine go to Notepad++. And then we're going to want the name of the plugin. Um, so it's going to be called Tutorial. We want the author, uh, which is me. We want the version, um, which is 1.0. You, know, you guys can really put the version as whatever you want. Um, the version is really for if you're creating a plugin that you're going to make public, um, you want to be able to, people to be able to differentiate which version they're using um, and if there's a newer version out. Um, so every time you update your plugin you want to make sure you update the version. Then we're going to go ahead and type in main and that's going to be the me.dabusck dot tutorial or oh, what's well, actually a capital T and then dot tutorial again because now what this is it's my main package here which is me.dabusck dot tutorial and then my main class which is dot tutorial and you'll figure well, I'll, you'll see why in just a second here why we need that like that and then you just need your description and this is just going to be tutorial for YouTube and then you go ahead and save that and that's all you need to do in here for now and now the reason why we needed that main class there and why we needed to know that this tutorial is going to be our main class is because we need to extend Java plugin and now Java is case sensitive so make sure your uppercasing and lowercasing things that are supposed to be uppercase and lowercase for instance extends this all lowercase and Java plugin has a capital Java um, yeah yeah capital J in Java and capital P in plugin and then you can and now we need to import this we can actually tell our project that we're using our spigot library um, and we can just hover over that and click import or what you can do is you can just do control shift O That's usually the fastest, but sometimes it doesn't always import exactly what you need to import and you'll start seeing that later on and So now guys we have made our first project and we can actually Even though nothing is happening. We can actually export this so we export this finish and we go ahead and launch our Minecraft here and then we'll go to Tutorial here let me just get here. We'll run the server. Um, I don't actually need to go onto Minecraft quite yet, um, but because we will we'll be able to see it right on here as soon as it loads. My Minecraft's loading as well, so it might take a little bit here. And we can see here. Oops, it's just it just passed here. So we can see that tutorial plugin. Is, so it was loading tutorial plugin. So and tutorial plugin has been enabled. So enabling tutorial version 1.0. That's all I have for today's lesson, so be sure to join me next time for the next video in which we will talk about uh, main classes and registering events. Also, make sure to comment your thoughts, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and tweet at me uh, at the, the underscore source underscore code, or tweet at the hashtag TSC coding um, to share your projects or if you have our, or if you need help troubleshooting your project. And lastly, make sure to follow me on GitHub, link will be in the description for any updates and all the project files. So, thanks for watching.